Hello, hello, my name is Harold. This is Tech on Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to check your PC specifications. All right, right here I have a copy of Windows 10. I'm going to go ahead and go over here to this PC. I'm going to right click and left click on properties here. This is the quickest way to get to it. Now, I know now that a lot of people don't have these icons on your desktop. I'll post a video later on how to put these back here because it's different in every operating system. But the quicker way to get to this, if you can't do that, is to go here. Go type in about your PC, and it'll do the exact same thing. Now, these aren't all the specifications, and this really isn't the um, the most thorough version, the way to check. So uh, you, can, you can technically go in, you can go to properties, you can go to device manager here, and you can specifically check, like, for instance, it doesn't show what your video card is, but if we go down here to display adapters, we can see that it's a 1650 tie. Now, barring that, there's actually a better way and a more thorough way, and that's why I'm going to jump on the internet here and look for a program called SPECY, S-P-E-C-C-Y. All right, let's go ahead and scroll down here just a little bit. I want to get the download from CNET. There's the first one, but it's a lot more of a process to kind of go through and get it. So yeah, we're going to go to the second link here from uh, the download on CNET. All right, once we get here to uh, the download link that I clicked on there, give me a second. We're going to go ahead and close this ad. We're going to go ahead and click download now. Give that a second. If, additionally, if it doesn't download, you can click restart the download link here. should pop up over here on the top right. If it doesn't, just click on this folder here icon here. In fact, we're going to open that up. We're going to go to downloads, and then it'll show up here as the... Uh, Last item you downloaded. Uh, by default, everything you download goes here to the downloads folder. So if you ever have to, you know, just click on this PC, go to downloads, or uh, click on the uh, folder icon there. All right, looks like SP, et cetera, et cetera, is done. So we're going to go ahead and open that. All right, let's close these out. I'm going to go ahead and do the customized installer just to double check and make sure it's not trying to install anything I don't want it to. But uh, from what it looks like, these options are okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click install. Let's give it a second to do that. I'm going to uncheck the view release notes. This does some weird stuff where it tries to open a browser and it gets kind of irritated because this isn't necessarily the latest and most updated version. You can get that from the first link if you want to do that, but I'm just going to use this one because it's faster. So I'm going to go ahead and run Specky. It's going to ask me if I want to download a new version. I'm going to go ahead and click no. This is pretty thorough, all things considered. Now, this will give you a very thorough explanation of the hardware you're using, including the motherboard, the graphics cards, the storage. And if you really want more uh, thorough information than that, you can go ahead and click on the sub items here. Uh, it's actually a thing over here. It should show how much memory is inside of it. Let's see if we can find that. Yep, four gigs of memory. Uh, yeah, I find this program works pretty well once you're done. Of course, if you don't plan on using it again, just go ahead and uninstall it. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's how you check your specifications in Windows 10. The easiest way to the most complex. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments below. And have a great rest of the day.